Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here from the Church at West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time once again. It is the Friday edition. Happy Friday to everyone. And it is February the 23rd, 2024. Today we find ourselves in the book of Acts chapter 10. As we see the continued um, growth of the church and the things that started the church and cause it to have such incredible growth. We pick up today in verse 34. The Bible says, then Peter replied, I see very clearly that God shows no favoritism. In every nation, he accepts those who fear him and do what is right. This is the message of good news for the people of Israel, that there is peace with God through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. You know what happened throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after John began preaching his message of baptism. And you know that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Then Jesus went around doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. And we apostles are witnesses of all he did throughout Judea and in Jer Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a cross, but God raised him to life on the third day. Then God allowed him to appear, not to the general public, but to us whom God had chosen in advance to be his witnesses. We were those who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. And he ordered us to preach everywhere and to testify that Jesus is the one appointed by God to be the judge of all, the living and the dead. He is the one all the prophets testified about, saying that everyone who believes in him will have their sins forgiven through his name. Even as Peter was saying these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the message. The Jewish believers who came with Peter were amazed that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out on the Gentiles too, for they heard him, them speaking in other tongues and praising God. Then Peter asked, can anyone object to their being baptized now that they have received the Holy Spirit just as we did? So he gave orders for them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Afterwards, Cornelius asked him to stay with them for several days. So this passage is important because in this chapter, we see the continued expansion of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's the idea that we have been told and understand as followers of Jesus that the message of the gospel was not just for the Jews. You see, at this point, every the majority of the believers were were Jewish converts to Christianity, those who had um, come to faith in Jesus Christ. And now through the efforts of Paul and Peter and the other apostles, we would see that the, the, the gospel was available to all who would receive it. This was a culture change. This was a shift for, for people of that time because there were definite distinctions in in the culture but but what god was saying to the apostles and to the people is what we see throughout scripture that the messiah jesus our christ came for all the bible tells us that all who call upon the name of the lord will be saved there's no restrictions it's all who will call upon the name of the lord will be saved. And even though there were distinctions in culture, scripture tells us that there is doubt, there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. We've been set free by the blood of the lamb. This is important for us in our current culture because there's such division and strife um, in our world. And, and we need to be reminded as followers of Jesus that the gospel, the story of Jesus Christ, the story of the resurrection, his shed blood on the cross is the message of hope for everyone. And it's our job, just as the apostles, just as Peter said that, that Jesus charged the apostles to go and preach the gospel, it's our job to do the exact same thing. The question is, are we willing to do it today and every day?
Will you pray with me? Father, thank you for the fact that the gospel was not just for the Jews, that the gospel, the message of Jesus is open to everyone and that we have the charge, we have the commission to share the gospel with all that we come in contact with. Doesn't matter race, color, creed. Um, we all stand before you, Father, in need of a savior, in need of the shed blood of Jesus. And so we thank you that that is the message that we proclaim each and every day. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Well, have a fantastic Friday. Until next time, and as always, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you, may be gracious to you, and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. May God bless you.